this is your general reading <clears throat> for April 15th through May 31st. I was going to be getting out April's earlier, but like everybody else, stuff got busy. So I decided to go ahead and do the rest, the last half of April and to the end of May 31st. What I'm doing right now is I'm pulling up what I am doing so I can see the conversation because sometimes I get a black screen. And since I go by satellite for internet, sometimes there's a delay. So I'm going to find it on my phone here. I'm going to give everybody a chance to come on. Again, this is a general read for Gemini. This is being done live on Facebook. This is also a group read at the end. I'll explain more here in a minute. YouTubers, if you would like to join in on the read, the group read at the end, or even just on these conversations, go ahead and come over to Lolita's Lovely Ladies on Facebook. Click Join. And Intuitive Tarot Readings by Barta and Join. These are being live air on Lolita's Lovely Ladies today. Sometimes I switch back and forth. Just let me know when you come on. Then I'll get her started. This is oh, your oh, 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 oh. general reading. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> well, I'm going to go ahead and start. I can see if anybody says anything to me while I'm doing the reading. This is, this is just a general, general read for the first. And then at the end, at the end of the reading, what I will do is I will take general questions, a question to person, and it will be for Gemini, Gemini or about a Gemini. Then right after that, I will take a couple questions from any zodiac sign, just general questions. They must be put in question form, though, okay? All right. And I am an intuitive tarot reader, which means when I pull the cards, I will go to the cards that I'm drawn to. And then, like example, we've got the Six of Pentacles here. There's lots and lots and lots of meanings. There's lots of zodiac signs in a lot of these cards. When being an intuitive tarot reader, I pull out what sticks out to me or what I hear about that card. Okay. That's how I work. All right, I'm going to get this started. Jim and I, and when I get going here, I won't know until I get going pretty good until this is just for one group. And when I say group is there's thousands and thousands of Geminis and every Zodiac sign. But as I start going on with the reading, there's one. This is about wealth is one. Sometimes it'll group out into different Geminis. Like there'll be a group that is just about wealth. Example, there'll be... Say, say if, well, let's just see what else falls. Gemini, show me. Cool. Marriage. Any more? Any more for Gemini? I keep going around that one. Success, success again. These right here are the tea leaf cards. This is your astral house. This tells you which area of your life that this is going on in. And this is a good example right here. I'll start throwing some cards. It has wealth. It's got the wealth card, the marriage card, and the success card. This could be all blended together about all those things into one, or it could be grouped out wealth, and it could be just nothing but about wealth and success for one group of Gemini. The next one, they may have marriage on their mind. Okay, here we go. Gemini. Okay. Gemini, can you tell me just a little bit more? Okay, that works. We got the Magician along with the Wealth card. And I'll delve more into it here in just a second. Gemini. Okay. Along with the Wealth card and the Magician card, the Three of Pentacles also fell out. I'm going to keep going up. Again, sometimes I'll be drawn to the bottom of the deck. There's the lover's card. 
I feel like that one goes over the marriage card. This card is, is appropriate as well. You got the six, or excuse me, the four of cups that goes along with the marriage card. Is there anything for the success card? Yes. Uh, no, this one fell. I got the tower card and I'll go through it here and I'll recap. It looks to me like it could be almost three groups. That's what it's feeling like. So the tower card went under the marriage card. How about the success card? Is there anything for the success card for Gemini? Gemini, April 15th through May 31st. And do know that when I am reading these, sometimes I'll get information that goes out a little bit farther into the future than just that. It might be a message, maybe a date. You'll hear me spout out of a bunch of different dates sometimes. Okay. I'll explain these cards as they're falling, or after, as soon as I get done falling, because I'm starting to see a story here, or stories. Success. I'm not getting any cards for success. So this is what I got. I'm looking like there's two groups of Geminis. And success is revolved around both of these groups. One for wealth, they're looking for success in their wealth. The other one's success in marriage or something, some kind of success on completing something with this marriage. I'm not sure what it is, okay? I'll turn these like this. All right, I am going to start with the career or the wealth one i don't know why i heard career but i did which that i mean your wealth is sometimes your career all right wealth let's move these cards so you can actually see all right okay so for the wealth card that goes along with the success this is a uh, gemini who is basically seeking out their success and their wealth and when I see this, you also see the card success. You see the diamond on there. It looks almost like diamonds, actually kind of like a star, but it reminds it like a diamond to me. And diamonds represent money. So this is Gemini. This is a Gemini who is actually chasing their wealth and they're working hard on it. They are going to be very successful at whatever they put their mind to. Next card I got was the magician. And again, yes, I know that there can be many, many meanings with the magician card. But what I feel for this right here, this is a Gemini who's, who's working their magic. Kind of like the magician, kind of working their magic, working on this wealth. They're doing something to succeed. It's just a natural for, for this group of Gemini. This is just a natural thing. This is a natural thing. It's like it's 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 like you can you're creating almost like magic in your life is what you're doing with your wealth. You're making it kind of appear, you know, you're working your butt off. That's what I'm getting. I got the three of pentacles as well. Three of pentacles <clears throat> can represent several things. And I'm told to look at the picture, and I will here in just a second. Three of Pentacles can sometimes be a completion of some kind, a completion of a cycle. All right. So maybe you're coming out of not having ton, uh, having what you feel. You might have enough, but for Gemini, these are wealth, success-driven Gemini's. So this group. So this person right here is wanting to complete something so they can get their wealth and success complete. They, they're, they're going to make the magic happen. They're going to make this happen in their head. It's going to happen. And it will. And from what I'm seeing, it will. It's slow moving, but it's coming. Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to look at the picture. Let's see what we got here. And this could also, I'm looking at the picture. And when you look at the picture here, I don't know if you can see them. It, it's almost like, now I know that's not exactly what they're doing, but as soon as I saw it, this is somebody who has a trade, like they have a certain trade that they actually do, like whether it's blacksmithing or carpentry or whatever your trade is. This is bartering it to me, even though that that's not probably, you know, the background of the card. This is what I'm feeling for this card. This is what I'm feeling off of it. There's some kind of bartering or trading going on here. So this has to do with some kind of um, outlet in your uh, a field of work that you do that you are really good at that you do you're chasing more wealth and success with it and you're getting ready to make magic happen with this and i feel some of you are in sales that's what i'm getting sales definitely yes it's trading excuse me trading bartering such as that and it could be also just by a field like carpentry or blacksmithing i'm not sure why it hurts blacksmithing but any but anyway that is a completion something's getting ready to complete on that so there's something in the works that you're working on 
I got the Knight of Pentacles. And to me, the Knight of Pentacles, I'm, I'm not looking so much. It doesn't feel necessarily as a person. This is something that has been really slow moving. But with the Magician card and the Three of Pentacles, Gemini is making their magic happen. They're no longer just doing it real. I mean, slow and steady. That's it. I just heard slow and steady. Gemini has no issue with going slow and steady to reach their wealth and success. And even though it feels like it's going too slow sometimes, you're still on the right path. And Gemini already knows this. Last card I got was a Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. Offering. Okay. Now, again, I do know that there's many different signs in these cards. But what I'm hearing from this one for this group of Gemini is that the cup that's being offered is, is it's this wealth and success. It's chasing this wealth and success. And something is going to be offered to you. I think there's some kind of, yeah, it's just kind of almost like it's being handed to you. It's actually going to get easier than what it has been in the past. It's been quite hard. And it's no longer here pretty quick with this with this cup being held out right there. To me, that tells me that it's in the offering, the wealth and success. This success is in the offering. It's well on its way. You will You will receive and you will get it. Your hard work has paid off. It still seems slow moving, but it's not going to be slow moving for long. Okay. Yeah. Which cards? Hmm. Okay. Can you give me any more information for the Geminis who have their mind? Well, here we go. Another one's with their mind on the money and the money on their mind. That's that's why I've been hearing that a lot with, with a lot of a lot of the signs when doing the readings. And success. Success has been like one of the main cards. So a lot of people are doing a lot of self-evaluation. Some of them are putting the work in. Gemini's putting the work in right now. Matter of fact, with this time where you, you can't get out very much at all, Gemini's putting they're they're putting the work into it. They're putting some hard work into it, stuff that they wouldn't normally probably be able to do with as busy as a schedule as most of the world would have. You know what I mean? You can't really get out and do stuff. So Gemini is working really hard. And I hear keyboard, a lot of keyboard. There's some online stuff. Some people are working really hard for their wealth and success online. <clears throat> Others, it's possibly learning for a trade or ideas, formulating Putting something, a formulation in plan, getting it moving forward. That's what I get, yeah. Anything else you'd like to add to Gemini? Well, success. They're going to make this, they're like the magician. Not much to add. This is a really simple read on this one. I'll show you the card here in a minute. Recapping. So basically, you got the magician card. To me, what I pulled out of that was basically... Gemini is going to kind of make magic. They're going to, they're like a magician. They're going to, they're, they're sculpting and re-sculpting the way that they've done stuff in the past. And now stuff is magic is just starting to happen. That's, that's how I see it. They're going to make it happen. This wealth and success. With the three of pentacles, something's coming, there's some kind of cycle. And I feel it was a slow cycle with the um, knight of pentacles. The knight of pentacles is slow moving success, slow moving money. Something not going as fast as what you wanted it to in, in the past. But with the three of pentacles, that completion cycle, it, it is. It's an end of it's an end of a cycle. It truly is. And it has something to do with some kind of trades like blacksmithing, carpentry, something along those lines. It could be many different things. It could be online stuff. It, it doesn't matter. But this group of Gemini, they have they've got their mind set on the future and that they're going to get this wealth and success. And they will. How do I know? Because I got the sun card. It is going to happen with all the hard work that you've been doing. It's going to happen. No ifs, ands, or buts. For this group of Gemini, you're on the right path. You got the Knight of Cups as well. The Knight of Cups, it's like all of a sudden, I'm not going to say this success and wealth is just flopped in your lap. You know, you worked really hard for this. It's the cup is in the offering. The cup, that wealth, that success is being handed over to you. It's being offered to you. So it's well on its way. Okay, that was a pretty short read for that, Gemini. How about a closing thought for that group? And then we'll move on to the one that has to do with marriage. Okay. Closing thought. Gemini. Hmm. Yeah, okay. 
closing thought for Gemini, well, success. And result is, yes, they're going to do quite well. Hard work in Gemini. I'm not seeing not one bit of just, it's just money handed over. That's not what I'm feeling. This is hard, hard work. Passion, yes. Yep, closing thought card for this group that has wealth and success on their mind. Passion, fire. Gemini has that fire burning. They've got that fire burning to get this wealth and success, and they are not going to give up. And, yes, they are going to get it, and it's coming quite soon. It's something offering soon. All that hard work is going to pay off. All right? So that is for the first group that had wealth and success on their mind. The next group is for marriage or somebody who is in a union with somebody that is like a marriage. I'll know more once I start going into it. All right, I'm going to leave success down here because that was one of that was one of the three cards and no other cards fell out with the success. So this is also blending not just with for the one group that had the wealth. This is also success. This is for Gemini who are looking for some kind of success with with a marriage or with whatever they have on their mind with this marriage, okay? Whatever it is, success is on their mind somehow whether to make this marriage the best marriage it's ever been or if it's not quite on that spectrum <clears throat> excuse me if it's not quite on that spectrum i'll just start throwing cards because i i think there's a little bit more to it than just somebody working on their marriage i think there's a little bit more and i'll tell you why here in a minute so anyway we'll get right into it let's see marriage and success there were some cards that fell and i told you guys i'd show you i got the lover's card this is definitely two people in a marriage or a union that is like a marriage and it also represents Gemini, the lovers. So this is definitely, yep, it says it's on for Gemini. Okay, I was hoping it would be more that I would get one where they're going to be working on their marriage and, you know, that that's, it was going to be something more on that positive because every sign has had something going on. This one's not getting out of it either. There's something going on. Okay, as to what, I'm not sure exactly. This is telling me how the Gemini is feeling and why right now. So I got the four of cups. Do you see how the man's got his hands crossed, kind of, shut, kind of shutting everything out, shutting the whole world out, not taking anything in, not listening, kind of had enough, not even really looking, not looking at the cup that's being offered in front of them, looking down at these past cups, thinking over past regrets. That's what I hear. Okay. Why? Why is this Gemini doing this? Because there was a tower moment that came down in this marriage or this union that was like a marriage. A big tower moment. All right, let's get some more into that one. And this definitely, to me, yeah, you see a man and you see a woman in that picture and they're just kind of fallen. This almost feels like a marriage that has fallen apart. That's what I heard, fallen apart. Yes, so this is for the group of Gemini. And when I say group, again, for those who are new and don't know how I do this, Again, if you want to follow the live readings, go to Lolita's Lovely Ladies, like it, so that way you get notified when I come on. You can also, uh, my group, Intuitive Tarot Readings by Barda, click like on that one, and if I go live in that one, you will know it. And that way, you know, at the end, you guys can come in and join in on the conversation, okay? All right, so we've got the tower moment. So there was some kind of tower moment in this marriage that happened. Definitely, no doubt. Okay, um... Since this is about love, I'm going to switch to the Island Time Wellness cards, which these cards right here, see, we have the lovers, we've got the Four of Cups, and we've got the Tower card. These cards right here kind of give you more details of what probably happened or is going on or going to be going on during this time, okay? <clears throat> oh. And again, sometimes I hit the bottom, and that's what I felt. I hit the bottom of the deck, and it feels feels like it. And I'll tell you the cards here in just a second. I want to see which ones I can get. Any more cards to explain what's going on with the situation with this marriage success. But for some of you, are you actually thinking about, even though I'm not sure, it doesn't feel quite right. Not that, not what I'm saying, but I'm not understanding why. 
it's showing me that and some of you granted it you might be able to fix it but toxic relationship very toxic some of you are actually hoping for a reunion this is for the group of gemini that have marriage and success on their brain they had a tower moment they're not feeling very satisfied they've gone within themselves this is definitely about a marriage um before i go any farther on this one if that's what's going on and i'm seeing that there has been i see that there has definitely been this is definitely a toxic relationship or one that you feel like you can't break free from or you can't break free in your head from it you might want to reevaluate your thinking on this why would you want to get more successful why would you want to bring something that's toxic back together i'm not sure and i feel like pulling from the bottom of the deck i got the passion card the first one was the healing heart card i guess i i was just kind of perplexed by why somebody would take somebody back when it was a toxic relationship it didn't make any sense healing heart <clears throat> healing healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationship or addiction and that could be also <clears throat> excuse me i've been reading all day it could also be um freedom from not just that but a codependent relationship one where you you or the other person feels like they have to have the other person to succeed that makes a little bit more sense why why i'm seeing the marriage card and somebody's wanting to make it succeed whenever all this dirty something bad has gone down and this person's toxic to you then i got the passion card and i asked why i was like why 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 would somebody want to do that hi miss mary it's because in your head i don't know i don't know your circumstance but it says passion you still love this person there's still passion there at least on your part i don't know about the other and it may not it may or may not get into that you always felt like you had fun with them but here's the thing i okay i'm reading this card and it doesn't feel right it does not feel right for this at all this is a toxic I, that's what i'm getting this is a toxic relationship no ifs ands or butter buds about it that's what i'm feeling self-delusion somebody is deluding themselves on what's really going on or maybe they don't want to accept the simple fact of what's happened I'm not saying this Gemini is is a bad person not even close I just think that they're not seeing everything as clearly I it's like that's it you're seeing three things through rose-colored glasses I think there's been a lot of abuse in this relationship yes especially verbal now as far as physical I'm not getting much on that but definitely cutting down cutting down someone there's been wrongs done wrongs that well you're your own person you make your own choices okay so that right there is rose colored glasses to me the passion part and maybe it was passionate in the beginning but it's not that way anymore and it's not going to get back that way not for this one it doesn't feel right all right i got the talking card and what stands out about that is you're awaiting a message so you and this person may not actually even i mean even with the stuff going on you guys are not in the same household that's what i'm feeling it's two separate households the reason i say that is because a waiting message arrives text call email or hovering now let's just say that they were in your household it's it might they might you might as well be about a thousand miles apart though because it just feels like you're not both in the same household so you could be in the same room and be a thousand miles away from each other hovering that stood out hovering so one is waiting for a text call email there may even be some spying in this one that's what i'm getting hovering looking over other people's business or it could be simple as just scanning stuff like a facebook thing you know looking that person up over and over that could be something along those lines it's it's not a good thing it's not healthy anything else sure why not <laughs> okay this the way it fell you can see where it fell right here okay we've got the lovers card and it fell where it was kind of blending over to the passion card which is also the person who's sitting here who's all shut off they're shut off from everything they're not seeing what's offered in front of them they can't see it because they're so focused on the past these cards kind of fell cattywonky like that that's what i call it kind of fell like this it's not totally like this so it's not on the way out this may have been something already happened 
or it's getting ready to be on the way up. Oh, my Lord. Girl with the snake. Yep, hold on here. All right. Yep, I didn't want to throw this on there, but um, I, I was hoping it wasn't going to go that way. This is looking like this is yet. I, I'm sorry. It's, I know the stuff's going on, but are people getting really bored? That's what I'm thinking. I'm not talking about Gemini. I'm talking about this is another affair. This is what this is about. And this is the Gemini having to basically try to clean up the pieces. And they're still trying to hold on to themselves because of what happened. And I'll tell you the cards here in a minute. But this just confirmed that it was, this is definitely, this is not just some fight you had between you and your spouse. This is actually an affair. And the first thing that stood out was this woman who has a snake wrapped around her. That's, I mean, can't get much plainer than that. All right. So we got the girl with the snake. So tells me that she was a snake in the grass. Now, is this just her fault? No. Now there was a somebody else. There was another sign that had the same similar reading. And when they had this reading, it was talking about the same thing. Very similar. It actually screwed up a marriage. Might want to go back and review those. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyway, um, girl with the snake, empath, narcissist, being charmed or used. An enabler. This is some, this is, this is a woman. And I'm not saying for Gemini. This is not Gemini. This is another woman. What did this other woman bring about this, this girl with the snake? Basically, she's like a snake in the grass. That's what I get. Very sneaky. But remember, if you're going to get mad, you might as well make sure you make it even. Okay, coffin. What did this bring? It brought endings. It brought an ending to this relationship. One that you still have in your heart. You do. And you still would like to have some kind of success on either completely clearing this marriage out or getting this marriage back together. Again, if you're thinking about getting this marriage back together, you need to ask yourself why. Okay. Because endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. You're being forced to change and you need to do that. You can't sit there like the four of cups where he's just shut off from everything. And he's, he's sitting there not even seeing what's in front of him. Those cup, that cups are being offered. He can't even see that. He can't see even the good that's being offered him right now because he's so hung up on this marriage of what and what happened in the past. And you see the three cups. Normally, I wouldn't read this like that, but this is this would be like a love triangle to me. Three people. That's what I'm getting off that one. More. All right, the last card is self indulgence. It's time to take care of yourself. It's time for you to refocus yourself. It's time for Gen this group of Geminis to sit here and stop pondering the past. What if I'd done this different? Could I have fixed this? Could I have done that? Why did this happen? If, when, where, why, how, all that. Don't do that. It's time for you with the self-indulgent card. It's not a bad card. It says focus on yourself, your self-worth. Take the time to heal. Do shadow work. Shadow work is when you're by yourself and it's where you're searching your deepest part of your soul on even the stuff that you don't really talk about. That's shadow work. And then learn to have some self-appreciation for yourself. That's what that's talking about. That's for Gemini. All right. Let's see. What else? Anything else I should be pulling for Gemini? Do, do, do. Okay, no, actually, it's pretty self-explanatory. You know what? Nope, I want the tea leaf cards. That's what feels right. Could you tell me a little bit more about the situation or at least a way to help them out of, I, I feel like in a hole, like in a tunnel. It's like in a fog. Another one had, had this too. Okay, this Gemini is most likely an older woman. All right, most likely on the dark hair spectrum. That's what I'm getting. I'm not going to look at the words because I, I saw woman. So this, this reading right here could be even for one. Matter of fact, you know what? I, the last reading, there was somebody who came on and I think they were Gemini and they had something going on with their marriage. This is actually for that small group of Gemini who's got this going on, that there is just, there's been some really bad wrong done, but you just can't see anything past wanting to try to fix it. Ask yourself why, because it's time for you to really get down to the darkest part of yourself 
and really get to the truth in your own stop wearing the rose colored glasses take them off know you're capable of taking care of your business taking care of yourself you don't need that other person who did this that's what i'm getting this is for an older woman this is what i'm getting group of group of gemini or this older woman and <laughs> next card you should accept valid criticism that's just the message for this woman i don't feel she's on right now but i have a feeling she'll be back to watch it yeah i'm not being mean i'm not i mean i know i have like a more of a straighter face right now but i've also been reading since uh 7 30 this morning doing readings so it has nothing to do with this reading so i'm not being i'm not being critical i'm just conveying the messages and i'm not being harsh i got the lily spiritual love you need to have that self-love this is it should say self-love in front of it this is spiritual love you need to learn to love yourself spiritual love get back in touch with your roots is what i'm hearing your roots yes Dark woman, yes, this is confirming that this is, this one feels like the girl with the snake. That's what it feels like. Dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. Yes, and I feel like putting that with right there. So that confirms to me, yes, this dirty was done. Yes, this deed was done. But it's time to go ahead and pull yourself back up out of the mental hole that you're in right now. And you will see this one right here that's how i'm gonna to have to read this one you actually are wanting success for this marriage you want it to succeed reevaluate get back to your roots open your mind up a little bit and then um really see it for what it is and take the rose colored glasses off because i keep hearing that rose colored glasses i think you're actually going to be okay though i think you, this is going to be changing here pretty soon i think you're going to have a um i'm not going to call it a coming to jesus meeting and that's where you kind of get hard on yourself and take care of it. I think you're going to slowly progress and start changing and start going a different direction on how you think about this. I think you'll see it more clearly here in May. That's what I feel. Is there anything else? Gemini's is going to be pretty short today. Gemini. Show me, show me. Anything else for Gemini? No, it's, it, it feels complete. It really truly does. By next February, I think you're going to be feeling more. Okay, there's two choices. I'm being, I, I don't see the cards right now, but I'm seeing fork in the road. It goes like this, where you have to make a choice. You go one way or you go another. Can you go off on your own? Do good on your own? Not having this person in your life? Sure you can. But I hear that somebody wants to fix this marriage. I'm not even sure if you even know they want to or not. But here's the deal. It can't never go back to the way it was. That's what I get. The other road is is you can chase and you can you can find your other half again. I'm not even gonna call him your other half because what he did was pretty dirty. But um, you can find him and try to bring it back together. That's the two. That's the two forks. You have a decision coming, and by next February you will have made this choice. I have a feeling. I hear concrete. Something's gonna be concrete. You you're, you don't know which way you're going right now though. You don't you'll figure it out you'll figure it out um like i said may may you're gonna really start mulling this stuff over your head really start thinking it through but you do have a chance to heal you just have to let yourself heal and you have to see everything for what it is okay well i hope that one helped i that's i mean that's it feels complete completely complete Okay, so the way this is going to work, if there's any Geminis or any questions for Gemini, go ahead and ask me a question. And then if no Geminis ask any questions or there's no questions about Gemini, then I'll switch over and I'll take a couple of just regular anybody, any zodiac sign. I'll take a couple questions. And then if nobody says anything whatsoever, then I will pop off and get ready for the next reading, which would be Taurus. Yes, Taurus. 
Uh, not sure where this came from. I hear irrelevant, so I'm not even going to pull that one in there. I'm not going to. Okay, has anybody got any questions? Anybody? Does anybody have any general questions? Just one question. We're switching over to anybody. Anybody got any questions? Satisfaction. Okay. No. Okay, just to recap, just a little bit, YouTubers. This is going live on Facebook. If you want to join in on these readings, because this is a new way I decided to do it, is the way it works is I usually did a general monthly reading. Well, I decided at the very end, go ahead and add to where, like today, it's Gemini. I'm doing Gemini right now. <coughs> Excuse me. So Gemini, at the end, I'll say, okay, Gemini, do you have any questions? It'll be for Gemini or about Gemini. Then if nobody answers, like nobody answered on this one, then I'll say, go ahead, and it doesn't matter what sign you are, go ahead and give me, I'll do an open read for any sign, just one question. Okay, so if you, um, it sounds like it's up your alley, then you just come over to Lolita's Lovely Ladies on Facebook, click like, and it'll tell you when I'm up online, and then go over to Intuitive Tarot Readings by Barta, click like on that, because I switch where I do it, is what happens. I'm not always on this one. This is my business page. And then you will be notified whenever I go on live. And if you do want your own personal reading, then contact me through Lolita's Lovely Ladies. There's a message box up there. Just go ahead and message me. Um, the rates are up there. And then since nobody's saying anything, I'm going to go ahead and pop off here. And then we'll get on to Tauruses. So I guess I'll see you guys back here in just a few then. I'll give a, a little bit of a warning on Lolita's before I come on. All right, guys. Thank you.